Good evening everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today um, I'm going to do something a little bit different because it's the 80th anniversary of uh, D-Day and I thought instead of, it, it, it's only right that I do something related to that instead of comedy or otherwise and I've been looking through uh, videos, possible videos and keeping an eye on which ones are on uh, official channels such as media channels like the Daily Mail or Sky News or whatever because uh, copyright could flag it um, and I also searched to see if anyone had reacted to anything to do with it and there are it's very slim pickings but one that I found is this one um, it's D-Day Normandy Battlefield Return so I'm just going to watch it and see what happens. Yeah, I thought it's only right that I did something like this. So, let's let's begin. Gather around real quick. He's got something really important to say. I want to hear a pin drop. Stop moving, stop moving, gather around. This is really, really important, okay? Okay, hold on, hold on. Get your ass in the water. Does this, this feels like the old days? I was always fearful of going back. I'm getting rid of the demons that I had about going back. However, in the past couple of years, I, I said, at my age, I'm ready for anything. He hasn't been back in 75 years. I mean, it's pretty amazing today to go into St. Mary and Police and see 30,000 people there just to shake your hand, just to say hi. And it's so important that you guys know after 75 years, we don't forget. I see that in my mind like it happened just now. There you do. We thank you for everything you have done for us. You sacrificed your life to serve our world and to give us back our freedom. Thanks to your brave acts, we can walk again on this Norman beach. We owe you more than thanks. You are real heroes. I don't want to pause too much, but I do love seeing like these events and just seeing all the kids engaging with it as well. Because it is true, you know, like modern day kids, they just don't seem to care or be as grateful for this, for these soldiers, these veterans, as much as my generation and further back were. So it is nice to see this. But yeah. I wonder what that must be like for him to step on that beach. If if that's the first time he's been on it since, you, you know, you just think of the last time he was there. It was very different, <laughs> different world. They came wave after wave without question without hesitation and without complaint. These men ran through the fires of hell, mm -hmm. moved by a force no weapon could destroy. Yep. The fierce patriotism of a free, proud, and sovereign people. Thank you. I've never forgotten, and you're with me. I know of 48 of my comrades buried <laughs> Ralph Courtney, Amos Savoy, Henry. I can see the emotion on his face. 48, 48 of his friends are buried there. Like, oh God. I don't think I know anybody in my entire life who has 48 friends, family, whatever people they know are buried in a cemetery. And this guy does. 48 of his friends are there. Like, and you're with me. I know of. 48 of my comrades buried <laughs> Ralph Courtney, Amos Savoy, Henry Unger. This is so precious to be with them. God, thank you, God. 
bring you guys back here is such a blessing, such an honor. It means a lot. I'm glad you guys are here. Without the game of football, I would never have this opportunity, this platform to do what I'm doing. To bring all you guys back here, to be together with your brothers. All you guys were here during the war together. You guys know what it's about to be part of a team, to be part of a brotherhood. Because of you guys, we can live in this country free. Born. Never had the chance like we're taking now to stop and, and take a look at this. I've become emotional. Seeing all the crosses out there, look each at all one of those graves. was a human being. He wanted to live too. They were mostly young men, 18, 19. And he more than boys. They died on the beaches of Normandy, across France, Germany, and Italy. They never lived to love and marry a woman or feel the joy of a newborn baby in their arms. They never lived to old age, but millions of people did live and live in freedom because of the sacrifices of the American and the Allied fighting man of 75 years ago. Fighting men of the greatest generation. We will never forget them. A soldier sometimes has to go through things that people don't know about, and a lot of times we don't bother to tell them. Oh, he's wounded, and he hasn't moved. This... You ought to have done something that would have thought impossible if you told me what you're going to do. I'd have said they can't do it. Impossible. I was just coming in on this end up here. My first objection was that lowest gun emplacement. How does it feel to be here again? Not like it felt the first time. I to bet. Think 75 years later. Seemed like yesterday. Sometimes I still feel like I'm going to wake up and it's not going to be true. I wow. wish it would go away. I wish it would go away. I know I'm being a bit quiet, like, it's not really a reaction, but I, I just can't think of anything to say. I don't feel myself a hero. I feel they're all the heroes. I have four broad stars. I have five battle campaigns, two presidential citations. Wow. But you know what? There's a hero here today. So I want to thank him. That's Donnie for what he's done for my life to come back here. You don't know how much I love you for that, Donnie. This is a high life for my life.
never coming back to take care of you. <sighs> wow. Oh, that was powerful. I just couldn't think of anything to say. <clears throat> just seeing all those people that turned up, this really got me. This kid just gives this veteran a hug and it's and this is from the last anniversary this is from the 75th so you know most of the veterans in this video are likely not around anymore and uh, it's, it's videos like this are so important, you know, the interviews with them, because it's like the last connection, like direct connection to that major chapter in our history that we have left, these, these men. And they're almost all gone. Like, there's not many of them left. You know? Covid, that didn't help. A lot of World War Two veterans died during Covid. Not necessarily all from Covid. Some died because just you know how much the loneliness and the lockdown and all that how it affect affected their lives in those kind of ways just depressed them and yeah, it's important to do stuff like this, make these kind of videos, interviews. Just, you don't even have to ask them questions, just have them sit across from you with a camera on and just let them talk about it however they want. That's so important because one day all these amazing people are going to be gone and all we're going to be able, you know, the only way you're going to be able to get any anything, any new stories is if you find someone's wartime diary I've got my great granddad's wartime diary up there and his medals you know it's just that's the only way you're going to be able to f get any new stories from that point onwards so I'll you know the, these kind of videos are so important to do very powerful <laughs> so, uh, I guess I don't know what to say <laughs> I don't know what to say But I guess um, I'll end it there So I think tomorrow I might do Something else Something that I've um, been planning, you know, I've, I've spoke about it a few times, a series that I've been talking about starting for a while. I might start that tomorrow. I think it's about time. But mm, that was really powerful. Just amazing to see this this event and all, all the people that turned out to see them and thank them, celebrate them. Yeah, really special. Incredible people. And so you should. You know, as long as they're here, whenever there's, a, there's an event, just try your best to turn up. Especially for these, this, the, the men that are part of this particular day. Their few hours on that beach gave countless generations a lifetime of a life on free soil. So, 
So it can carry on because it's a bit of a funny time at the moment. You know, the way things are going. I've got a feeling that in a hundred years' time there's going to be people watching videos of 18 to 40 year olds from this generation talking about what they did in this time. Maybe not in a hundred years' time, obviously, but you know. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to end it there. So, thanks for watching. Um... And as I say, tomorrow I'll try and do another video for this. Something, some, something related to this, yeah. I'm going to have a think about what it might be, and then I'll decide. So thanks everybody, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.